<laughs> hey my fellow crafters and welcome back I'm your buddy Johnny Ops and as you see we've got all our repairs finished in here we good to go it's like the creeper never showed up here and tampered with our build as soon as we finished Oy. so today we want to make a new villager friend so we're gonna try out Taking some gray wool and our black wool, and I've got our cobbled deep slate, and I think I'll grab our stone cutter, and I will meet you all over at the zombie spawner tomorrow. Hello guys, long time no see. Oh, well, there's all the cobblestone. Oh, we've been missing you. Okay, so as you see, we have things ready for a alchemist. I'm not exactly sure what that villagers called but we want good prices right off the get-go in order to get those good prices we need to cure a zombie villager as the best way to get a jump start oh well would you look at that if we can figure out how to uh isolate that little guy right there he's even got a piece of meat so he's not going to despawn Perfect, perfect, perfect. And, uh, yeah, we can get that sorted. So there's our guy. This is our guy. And we're going to get him out here. We're going to cure him of his ailments. And once he's cured, he'll become our brewing alchemist villager. And he buys the rotten flesh that he's holding. I'm also going to make a collection system with uh, hoppers and chests and everything to collect all this rotten flesh and just emeralds this will be our emerald machine it'll be perfect so I'm going to go with I think a darker palette this guy does brewing mixes up stuff ingredients he's, he's, he's creepy who knows what he's up to down in these depths so we're gonna get him a little nicer setup Let's, uh, let's dampen this room up for this guy and see how he feels. Go ahead and shut you off. Okay, we need to make a boat to trap a zombie villager. 
open this up so that we can see who we can collect. <laughs> Not that one. Geronimo. Okay, get her stuff. Get her stuff. Look out for the baby. Where's the baby? Okay, she's gotta be back here, right? Where's where? What? Seriously, though, <laughs> guy, where? Where's the baby? It's just. Take two. And he's got a sword and the. Okay, 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 okay. This is how you want to go, me, hey? What? Let's do this. Take this baby zombie on, my goodness. Alright, little baby zombie. He's, there he is. Oh, there he is. He's in there. Sorry. Get him. Get him. Sorry. Get him. Got him. And... Sorry. Got him. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, no. No. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> so bad. Okay, you two. You gonna play nice? Okay. Even even this is this this should be <sighs> my water helmet. That's on me. Alright, I captured these two in a terrible spot. They're just getting in the way. So I think our brewing station for these guys so our farms over here in case of any breakages we want these guys to be safe more or less correct so I do like the idea of the brew station being over here they're in the way they are in the way Yeah, oh my goodness. See what I mean? Like, I can't get any work done with these two here. So, we are just gonna go ahead. Alright, you guys. I will take care of you. Oop. Uh, we need to... Ah. <gasps> uh. Hey Dave. Brown mushrooms. Brown mushrooms. Brown. Yeah, that's the tiger. There's a stinking biome we need to get the. Of course, we didn't happen to grow any. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get. 
give this to me. And boom, 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 boom. Oh, give me a mushroom. Okay, now that we have brown mushrooms, because I had them the whole time and you never knew anything happened and I never disappeared to go get them. Right. Anyway, um, <laughs> fermented spider eye. We can craft this item right here a couple times. And with this, we go into our brewing stand. Take some cobblestone and a blaze rod to create. And with this, we can make potions. So we need to make, we need to put blaze in here. Hmm. Bad news again. I just realized before I cure these two, they're going to drop their items. And without names, the villagers themselves could despawn. So this means I need to go find a lot of iron. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, we got over a stack. This has got to be enough. of it in order to make ourselves an anvil with our anvil we can create our name tags and we will be able to keep our villagers I also found hoppers back at home in a redstone chest so I grabbed some of those uh, for our item collection but first things first drop this anvil I will name our friends here. Alright. So before we name them, we'll get them cured up here. And to do this, we need our brewing stand. So we take some blaze powder. So we add three water bottles. We just need a fermented spider eye. And so once these brew up, we get our potion of healing we can potions regular potions must be drank and since I don't think these guys want us to just give them a potion we need to be able to toss it to them so using some gunpowder will give us a splash potion which means that we can just toss it over at them from a safe distance. Hopefully. We to cure at about the same time and they don't uh, hurt each other. We need... Ah, perfect. Chest for collecting. Hoppers for distribution. Oh, it's so much nicer working with them getting punched all the time. Isn't it, boys? Okay, so we have this little water flow. I don't like how it comes out of the whole block, but if we 
water log is there, and it's in the floor, it will fill the stair block with water, and then you get this little water feature that you don't fall into. Do this all the way around. So these guys have some water features going, kind of all scatterbrained. And you keep clearing out this little space here, give them a workshop for their potions. Alright, I was almost tired of using mangrove, but I want to know. How do they look? I think that's just fine. Alright, friends. So, I have the alchemist room all blacked out. So now we just need to do a little decoration and some fancifying. Yes. So to do that... <laughs> That does not sound awesome. Oh, uh, oh. Yeah, 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 why don't you put all my stuff on? That'd be just wonderful. I believe this is the guy with our stuff. Thank you. Glowstone. The reason that we came here and we can just take this quick vine trip up and out. Take this quick vine trip up and as long as we can safely get here, we can collect this glowstone and we can make a little device with it. Okay, so for our two little alchemists down here conducting their experiments, they will, you know, once in a while, want to be able to turn off the spawner, you know, it gets pretty loud. Oh my goodness, I had to turn them off right now while I was doing the blocking, because... <laughs> It was, it was a lot to handle. So what we are going to, what we are going to build together here, we'll need a, a lever. I need more, I need more wood. Uh, but, glowstone. We'll make two of these blocks because Glowstone is a light. Is a l glowstone is a light emitting block, but at the same time. Uh, <laughs> oh, just so good. So that was the glowstone that we just went to the nether to collect. And we needed it so that we could make this. I hope that was in a good spot. 
a lamp. A lamp of sorts. And if we put a lever to it, <gasps> we can create light. And we know that the spawners need darkness to work. And if we happen to check, we're going to place our redstone lamp in the ceiling here. And then we are going to run redstone signal to the block. Ha ha. So this way, when our alchemists want to perform some work in silence, they need to concentrate on their experiments. Boop. Flip the switch over here. And that shuts off spawner A. And we just need to get a second light source up into this room and they can toggle this one off as well. Let's see. Our redstone has power and it's okay. Nothing spawning. Perfect. Above ground, we are going to have a worn down building for these guys. It is not going to be inviting. They are not looking to have their visitors on their property. So I've never done much for paths, but I figure if we make it less of a shoveled path and more of a beaten down gravel coarse dirt and then maybe we'll have other builds that way where there'll be a main road and we'll have this little spooky offshoot and it's not gonna be much it's just gonna be boom here we are our finished little build it's not much but as you can see it's not inviting it is dark and decrepit i was trying to figure out how to make like a barricade oh i haven't protected over there <laughs> so it's not a whole lot but here we are off our beaten path we come through this creepy little s section and we notice off there in the distance look at there's this little shack back here. It's a little run down, broken down. Does not look inviting. Sitting here in the dark. What do we do? Oh. There's not much in here. That's for sure. Well, there's a hole. Whoa. Well, what do you think? Looks nice enough for them to sleep in, I suppose, eh? Well, how are we today, guys? I was here a minute. Oh! Got the lights off. You guys are, uh, getting to work right now. Well, you guys don't mind me. I'm just gonna, uh, you know, chill back here for a bit. Observe. See what you do. Yeah? Oh. Well, I think you two need new names. So we'll wait. We need some names for some uh, mad scientists. So if you have any suggestions, you know where to leave them. Well, my fellow crafters, I'm going to watch these guys work for a bit. See if I can help them out and uh, maybe make some emeralds off them in the process. And I... We'll catch you all in the next episode. Thanks for joining me. Drop me a comment with some name suggestions for our two mad scientists. And uh, let, me know what, let me know what you want us doing in this world. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye!
What? What? They all... Your tools aren't good enough? What? Sword, what? Swords aren't good enough? No, you need enchanted stuff. Well, uh, alright. Yeah, okay. I get that you need enchanted swords to do your work. Yeah, okay. Sorry. I get that. But... Okay, oh yes, alright. An enchanting table. Got it. Alright guys. Well, they want enchanted tools to make their work go faster, so... We only have four diamonds. So we'll use the three of them on a pickaxe, and then we have to find another diamond for the enchanting table. So, I guess we know what our next mission is. See you next time.